Hi everybody, Belinda here, welcome back. I'm going to do a ring pour today and I'm thinking I need probably about 325 mils all up. So I'll show you my paints. Um, today I'm using PBO and it's the Prussian Blue. <coughs> Liquitex Basics Yellow. Golden Payne's Grey. I have uh, my 24 karat gold. I also have um, teal. And a lot of people have been asking me, so I thought I would show you guys Liquitex Professional Gloss Medium and Varnish. So this is what I put in my paints and mix it up as well using one part paint, two parts Floetrol. Um, but first of all, you need to pour this and mix this in with your paint first before you put the Floetrol in. Okay, um, in my white, I have a little bit of, actually it's a house paint. It's the um, white satin enamel. So I'm just going in with quite a lot of this blue. Uh, with the Payne's Grey. And um, then I'm going to go in with white. So this white here has um, it's a mixture. It's Obviously, it's the flow troll. Um, in the satin enamel. So I'm just going to go in with all of that. I think there's some little lumps and bumps in that. That's the the house. The house paint so it's a multi-purpose purpose paint and it's white semi-gloss and it's pretty much the same as the deco art satin enamel does the same thing as you can see it's already doing stuff in there so that's what I use because um, that's it's easier for me to actually get that okay I'm going to go in with some yellow Maybe I need to do it this way around so you guys can actually see what's going on here better. Um, I don't want too much yellow. Um, I might go in now. This white here doesn't have any satin enamel in it. Of course I've got my gold, 24 karat gold. Put a bit in there. And I'll keep some over for around the edges. Um, what have I not put in? I have teal. really looking for my paint to actually sink or to mix and this is my Prussian blue so I've got that's about enough it's um, almost 350 and what I'm going to do is um, I just want to mix a little bit of water into this gold. I'm just thinning it down a little bit because I'm going to use it on the edges. Um, I'm 
And that stopped the This gold is already looking amazing. Got to catch the drop. Oh, there is so much going on inside this jug. I have to show you. You see that? Mm, maybe not. But that white is already selling up. I don't have any um, silicone in there at all. Okay. So around and around and around we go. I really like these colours. They're pretty amazing. So I'm just going to go around like this a little bit. Try and spread those out a little. And then... I'm going to pour gold down around the edges. And this is going to help the paint move. Put a bit of this, um, which one, the yellow maybe, well, I'm just thinning out the yellow because we're going to be using that around the edges. Getting in there with the hand. Is 
So very often I actually um, cover the canvas first and it's, it's, you know, sometimes I do like to do it like this while I am busy with my pour. Nothing wrong with that. Just make sure all your edges are covered nicely so that you can get that paint to glide well. Alright. All good, that that looks good. And then I'm just gonna change my glove. <laughs> Not that it actually matters at this point. this aside so um, we don't have any accidents so if you saw my painting that I put up previously I don't know it was um, pretty bad and as the time wore on so it actually looked worse <laughs> I don't know what Pollock would have said about that but these things happen. <coughs> and I thought I, I really wanted to just show you guys. It happens. So this canvas, I don't think I mentioned it, is a 16 by 20 inch. So let's go off this corner first, I think. Because I kind of want to keep what's going on over there. Just go off this corner here. Let me turn this around so you guys can see better. I think I lost a cup somewhere. No oh dear. You get back to your corner. And so we go back to the center. So I quite like what's going on over that corner there so I think what I'll do is I'm going to have to get rid of some on this side first these colors are beautiful that is looking absolutely gorgeous so I do have some cells popping up here and there that would be from the gold and I'm going to take that off Wow. 
this this is actually looking amazing unlike my previous painting <laughs> that was so funny I'm still laughing about it every time I look at it I'm like whoa that's real bad it's ugly okay guys I'm going to give this a torch and then I'll bring you in to have a look really is gorgeous I think those colors are amazing Wow. I've even got over here, which I'll show you in a minute, these actually different colored cells. Let's give this a touch. <coughs> really want to torture too much in the center and sort this torch out because it's a flamethrower again oh no stop you know what I have noticed with the pearl cells is the more <laughs> it develops the more these pearl cells pop up and there's just no stopping them so you can end up with a lot very quickly I would like some more of those pearl cells coming up in the corners Probably some around there. Yeah. So this is the um, end result. It's actually been drying for, or well, sitting for about uh, 20 minutes. Just trying to capture that gold and the colours of the cells. not all that great on the camera but it's absolutely beautiful look at those all floating around and in each one of these um, over here these veins you can see the different colors um, the paints gray yellow kind of greenish and it also has like a shadow effect so it sort of looks like it's sticking off the canvas really beautiful and this has turned out really well I really like that section over there Yes, yeah, so it's almost like like it's 3D. Again, excuse the shadows, guys. It's really lovely. And then I'll show you from this angle here, which is really gorgeous. I'm really happy with this and I'm so thank you very much guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and um, I'll see you in the next one thank you bye